Okay, what we're going to do in this tutorial uh, video is to show how FAT3000 has the ability to load in the older style uh, aperture list formats that typically were accompanied with a Gerber 274D. Uh, nowadays, most Gerber files are 274X, which means the aperture list is embedded inside of the actual Gerber file, but there are a lot of old legacy designs out there, and some CAD programs that still output Gerbers and needed an accompany list. So let me go ahead first and show you the first thing you'll do is you'll go to the setup menu, run the aperture rules editor. Now this is going to allow FAT3000 to understand how aperture lists are imported. So as you see here, I have a sample aperture list set up. This is just one that was handed from a client and they want to be able to import this particular uh, aperture list in. So the first thing I'll do is answer the rules here. As you'll see, there's about 30 default aperture rules that FAT3000 is shipped with, but however, there's thousands of them uh, because each new design format that was out, each new CAD format that was out had a new version uh, or new style change for their aperture list. So again, that's why we have the ability here to customize this. So the first thing I'll do is create my own aperture rule. And I know this was an old app or CAD aperture list as I was told by the customer. So I'll call this just ORCAD test. The file extension for that particular aperture file is TOL. Um, and then basically the move to tells you what line will the aperture list move to. So it's gonna look like it moves to here, the, our aperture reader. So I'll copy this, and then FAT3000 requires you to use the control V, I guess the paste, there's no right click paste. Uh, so using control C, control V. Skip additional lines is zero. The reason why is because right after this line, we start with our aperture information. Uh, stop at, uh, in this particular case, it's just gonna stop when it's done reading. Sometimes there'll be some information where you can just say stop here, so that way it won't come up as additional errors. The units are inches scale and then tolerated warnings basically after about 10 warnings uh, it will decide that this isn't the correct aperture uh, list so you can add more so it can keep loading in if there's warnings but 10 is a good number to start with so now let's do the line format what the line format is that basically is for each particular shape it tells fat 3000 how to load the shape so in this case the first line i have is right here and i'll go ahead and copy this and again, control V to paste the line in. And the shape of this will be a circle because it says L, which is typically assumed to be line. If you look here, it says vertical first and then horizontal. So actually it's a little tricky here. It goes Y first and then the X dimension. So what I'll do here is substitute this, tell them that this is a Y and use the little uh, braces here. X, L is actual shape description. So I'll put that in quotes and then decode number and you'll see they're all defined here. So I just put D. All right, so now 50,000 knows how to import that particular line. It's got X value, Y value, the shape description, and the decode. So let me go ahead and quickly add the rest of them here. All right, let's see what we got here next. This is C, which will be the same thing, essentially. This will be a circle. Control V. Okay, and I put this in parentheses here. Great, so now I've entered in all the line information. Uh, I go ahead and just press OK. And what it does is it saves it now as ORCAD test. So I'll create a new job. And now I'll go ahead and import that aperture list. Now that this is set up, I can go ahead and just use auto load in general if I have the Gerbers, but in this case, I only have the aperture list, so I'm just gonna bring that in only. Uh, the aperture list is located, let me pull that out the correct folder. And let's use the new rule that I just created, which is called ORCAD test. Here we go. And then that's it, the aperture list has been loaded. If I go here and check it, there's all your particular apertures. that a mill so it makes more sense uh, and then you, again you'll see it against the original aperture list so for instance like decode 11's uh, circle 55 you'll see decode 11 circle 55 and that's pretty much it thank you